Okay, what biome are we converting today? Let's see, let's spin the wheel. And it landed on, drumroll please. Uh, well, that's just rude, isn't it? So after being bullied by the Wheel of Fortune, I decided upon this biome for a couple of reasons. One, it's honestly probably the easiest one on my list, but let's ignore that reason and go to reason number two. This biome was added 10 years ago in 2011, and it really hasn't gotten any attention after that, and I think we need to fix that. Now there's very little actual terraforming that I think needs to be done, but I do want to make the mushrooms a lot more interesting, just because this is a little bit repetitive and boring, and just, I, I like building mushrooms, I guess, maybe. So I'm going to start by using the brush as a cylinder, just like this, that's, that's looking pretty good. And I'm just going to do that a few times, and then I'm going to change this down to a 2, yeah, that looks pretty good, but I think I'm going to do 2.5 like that. And then redo, oh, almost got stuck, yeah, that looks good. So I've continued it all the way up to the top here, getting slightly thinner each time, and I'm just doing the finishing touches there. And that's a decent looking stem. It looks a bit wonky, but I think we can work with it. I'm going to do the arms just like that. Pretty much the same type of thing as how I did the top, doing a cylinder just like that. Doing a 0 0.5 by 3 cylinder. I can't really do a 0, so I'm just going to manually do the top there. Okay, it kind of looks like he's flipping me off. <laughs> that looks a little bit better and more natural, so I'm going to do the same type of thing just down here. And yeah, that looks pretty good. There we go. So now I'm going to add this block over here, red mushroom block on top to add the cap. And there we go, that's the wrong block. Red mushroom block, not mushroom stem. And I dropped my axe, I mean, okay. And I did it again. Let's try again, do that. And that's a little bit flat for the top, so I'm going to do something like this. Make it that little bit smaller, do 3, maybe 3.5, yeah. Like that, that looks, that looks good. So if I do 2.5, just to round it off a little bit quicker. And then I'm going to work the same thing all the way down to 0 0.5. Yeah, I'm liking that. That looks really, really good, if you ask me. Okay, now using the minus H, I can make it hollow. And now, this might not look too good just like that, but if I do it properly, I can get it to look like this, which is looking really great. Now, I'm probably going to work with it a little bit more um, to just kind of round it up a bit. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to kind of bring it off in two different directions and hopefully it will look much more natural. Okay, this is looking really, really good. Now, the inside is um, a little bit hideous, but that bit doesn't matter, I decided. The bottom looks really f flat and awkward like it is, so I just need to bring down the bottom to make it look more natural. This looks really weird. Wait a second. Okay, this is looking really cool now. Now, I've variated it, and I want to put some weeping vines, because the color kind of matches, and that one on its own looks really awkward. But if I work with it, I can probably get it to look pretty good. Okay, so this is actually looking really, really good now. The back looks like a piece of shit, but we're just going to ignore that because that's how pro builders do it. No, we're not. It's looking really plain, and we need to add some of these blocks to spruce it up. I'd say this is looking pretty good now. Uh, what I want to do now is get some, let's go white wool, and add in some spots. And then the finishing touches, and now that mushroom is done. And I would take a look at it with shaders, but someone pointed out that it's almost kind of cheating to the... Right, as I was saying, uh, this is looking really good. It's time to get on to the next one. Is it cheating to, to just like do that? 
Can you tell that it's just copied over? Eh. Not really. I think that works. But I am going to legitimately do one more over here. Since this one was a little bit repetitive and boring, I decided to do it in the form of a time lapse. And as you can see here, I figured out a much better way to texturize it, and it kind of does it automatically. As you can see, I started off a little bit slow here, but it sped up, um, and actually I think I am slowing down the time lapse footage at the same time. Um, but that's a very tall stem, and you'll see why, because this one is going to be a brown mushroom. Now the way I've done this, you'll see I've done the same auto texturizing tool, but I've done really wide, flat cylinders, and each time I go around it's one layer further down, and it's created this really nice, well, mushroom shape. Uh, then the next thing, you can see I brought it quite low down, then I bring up the arms at the side, obviously I need to cap them off, just kind of the same way, and we're done. Three gigantic mushrooms, this is pitch black down here. But I'll I'll deal with it later because that's kind of how I'm doing things here. Next stage is to create medium-sized mushrooms that I'll copy and paste around a bit. So for these ones, I've done the same kind of thing as the stem. But what I'm gonna do is I've created this combination, which should create a pretty good uh, red mushroom cap. And you can see I've got some white wool in here to try and create the spots. So let's see, and this will look like that, which is very nice. Yep, that's that's a pretty nice little medium mushroom. Now, even though these mushrooms do look very small in comparison to these, remember that this is still about the size of a house. Nice, looking pretty good if you ask me. And now I'm going to do one more smallest one right here. Now I was about to say that I'm going to copy and paste these around a little bit, but there is actually one thing that I want to do first. So with this brush, it just adds a little bit of texture. I don't know how good it looks. Does that look good? That doesn't look good, does it? You know, I think making it more dense has actually helped. Oh, that doesn't look quite right. Um. So making it more dense has actually helped, but also remember that there's going to be like a layer of mushrooms and stuff on top of this. So you're barely going to see it, and that really doesn't look good, does it? Okay, now I'm ready to copy and paste these around a bit. Okay, so I've copied that, which is why this terrain's looking a little bit odd. But now I can do slash, I don't know, rotate um, 90 degrees. And now I can go paste minus air, and boom, I've got another mushroom. And because it's rotated, it does it looks slightly different from that one, even though that angle is the same as that. It still it works. Now I can slash copy that one. And I can pay where can where should I paste it? Let's paste this one. Actually, no. I've just realised I've made a mistake. I can't be standing all the way out there when I paste it. when I copy it. I need to be standing here when I copy it. And now I'm gonna do I don't know slash is it flip just to mix things up. I'll paste it here. Why not? Uh, where's paste minus A? And I've pasted it right into a mushroom. Uh, I'm gonna do need to do a little bit of terraforming, it seems, but it's definitely the quickest way to do this. Now I'm gonna do a brown mushroom over here. So now I'm gonna do the cap of this brown mushroom. You know what? Let's make that layer a little bit bigger, just like that. Yeah, it looks nice. Now I'm going to go around like this, like I did with the giant mushroom, really. I think that's a little bit wide, so I'm just going to chop off the edges a bit. Now I'm not going to bother with copy and pasting the brown mushrooms, because they're really easy to make. You just go make a stem. Okay, that's a really wide stem. <laughs> you make a stem like that. And why is there so many cows here all of a sudden? 
Anyway, make the stem, you can go a little bit thinner, that's wider, let's go a little bit thinner, and you just, oh my god, this cow is magic. Now I think the main trick with this one is you you don't want to make it too thin at the top or else it looks kind of unsturdy. So if I just finish off by going a little bit wider at the top, I don't know, something like that. Uh, let's remove this top layer. And then I'll put the cap on top of there. But again, the caps are just as easy to make because you just, you, you basically just do that, then you go one up, you make it a little bit smaller, maybe let's go 2.5 for this one, like that, and then you go for a really small number, like just one, and then you circle around the edge using that. Maybe for the bigger ones, you can go around again with a slightly smaller one, and boom, you got yourself a mushroom. Now I'm going to do the same thing. One more time, just over here. Finishing touches, just like that. And I think we're done for medium-sized mushrooms. Now it's time to go on to the smallish ones. Now I'm going to do these ones a little bit differently, and then I'm just going to go around and I'm going to place stems like that. Oh, this still looks really weird. As I was saying, I'm just going to start by placing stems like this, and then afterwards I'm going to go around and cap them all. Now that we've got all of those stems, I'm going to go around and cap them all. So I'm going to take the red mushroom mix, except I'm going to do a sphere this time. And what are the parameters for a sphere? Okay, so on a few of them, I'm going to go like that for the cap. I think that looks... Pretty good-ish. I don't know. I think I like it. And then for other ones, I'm going to go slightly bigger. Let's see. Yeah, I think that looks good. The this, <laughs> To be honest, that looks quite similar to the vanilla ones. But hey, I still think it looks pretty good. Actually, you know what? That probably could do with the smaller one. <laughs> And then for the other ones, I'm going to take the brown mushroom mix, and I'm going to go two, like that, and then, yeah, how should I go, I you know, I think I'm going to go three and two, no, oh, okay, three and two, but then I remove that layer, I don't know. Or maybe instead of doing that, I could go three and one. And then on top of that, I can go two and one. Okay. Yeah, like that. It's a little bit it's a it's a little bit extra steps, but I think it looks good. In places I'm gonna do little mini ones like this. That looks good. Okay, this is looking really, really cool now. Um, there's, I think the last things to do is going to be detailing the floor a little bit more, adding a bit of depth and foliage around. And I also want to figure out a way to light this up, because this, this is not okay. Since mobs already don't spawn in these biomes, I think it'll be fine to have the entire thing constantly illuminated by... It's kind of in the name. And that's shroom lights. Yeah, so just everywhere I'm going to dot this. I think that might even be a bit too dense, actually. So I'm going to go for five instead. And yeah, I think that's pretty good. So just it's just going to start basically slightly illuminating anywhere that I click. Now I know this cool trick that will actually help with both decoration and lighting. Because these little fake tiny mushrooms that are not quite as tiny as the as the you, you know what i mean they help light things up as well so i kind of didn't need the shroom lights um but i was gonna add these anyway to be honest and i just think it should help add to the feel 
yeah. Okay, I think we're almost done, and now the last thing to do is to add the little house here, and I cannot take my eyes off of that. And like that, I think we're done. And with that, I think we're done. I'm really, really proud of this. I had an amazing time making it, and I hope you had an amazing time watching me make it. And I hope it inspires you to do things of your own. And please subscribe if you want to see me convert another biome. If you enjoyed this video, please do like and subscribe. It means so much. You can't, you can't imagine how much it means. Anyway, I've been Glitch at GSDGM. You've been awesome. I'll see you next time. Wow, you stuck around all the way to the end. I really appreciate it. You know what I'd appreciate more? If you liked this video. I'm just here to say that I probably won't be releasing a video for the next two weeks because one, I'm going on vacation, and two, with Downfall just around the corner, I'm kind of stressing out. Now you might be wondering, what is Downfall? So you know how a while ago I did a YouTube short advertising a Demise SMP? That got rebranded to Downfall because someone beat me to the name Demise. And it is starting in two or three weeks. Can't wait to see you there. Have a good one.